It's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh anointing is coming my way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season coming my way. It's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh anointing is coming my way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season coming my way. It's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh anointing is coming my way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season coming my way. Oh, it's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season coming my way. Bless the Lord, we give God thanks for this month of um, July. Uh, we have sung earlier, it's a new season, it's a new day. A fresh anointing coming our way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season. For this month of July, we just want to give God thanks for taking us through the month of June. You know, I know that many persons have been through a lot um, during this month of June. You know, I just want to encourage somebody that whatever you have lost during the month of June, you can regain it for the month of July. All of the enemy has stolen is return a hundredfold and more. And our scripture for the month is taken from psalms as it relates to rain it's taken from oh, our theme is rain and our subtopic is the water is troubled step right in but well, give us thanks for the shift and the move that he has um been doing in our lives but well, give us thanks for those who are able to tune in with us and the uh, heart heart talk show in which persons were delivered i know that persons were encouraged and you know we just want to continue to pray for our families, our friends, our leaders, you know, our, our classmates, our workmates, our neighbors, our community, because prayer is the key. So our theme for this month is rain, and our topic is the water is troubled, step right in. As it relates to rain, it is R-E-I-G-N, and it says that the Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, <clears throat> unto all generations. Praise the Lord. And also... Our scripture is taken from St. John 5, from verse 4 to 5, and it states, For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in and was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. A certain man was there which had an infirmity for 38 years. The water is troubled, right? So the water is troubled in this season. So we're just encouraging someone to step into the shift step into the manifestation of God's glory. You know, don't be distracted in this season. Listen to what God is saying. So I'll just do a uh, opening prayer for, you know, those who'll be listening. And I'll just be praying a prayer for the month of July. Let us please agree with me as I pray and believe for the shift for this season. So we thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. We're in our right mind. I will give you thanks for our mind. Lord, forgive us of our sins, Lord. Wash us again, cleanse us again, make us whole. We're nothing before you. We're just empty vessels at this time. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for our Thursday. Today is Thursday, a day that we'll have seen or heard. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for giving us strength and life, that we are able to make a change. We are able, able to change our mindset, Lord, to your kingdom mandate, Lord. Bless us this Thursday. We are sending angels into Friday. We are sending angels into Saturday and Sunday. We are sending angels into the weekend. As we are approaching the weekend, Lord, 
let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we give you thanks for the souls that you're releasing, the souls who are being going to be baptized, the souls who are getting their deliverance. We give us thanks for the sicknesses that are being healed. Lord, yes, we thank you, Lord, for the miracles that are bursting. We thank you, Lord, for shifting us into a next level. Lord, we send angels into July, Lord. Whatever the enemy set up against us for the month of July, we shut it down at this time. We are reminded that the water is troubled, Lord. And when the water is troubled, Lord, they are shifting, taking place. And I believe that thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Many of us have been praying for a certain situation and certain cases, and it has not come to pass. But help us to be able to discern when there is a shift to discern when there is a move of God to discern the atmosphere at this time the kingdom timing Lord of your blessing Lord Lord we thank you Lord for allowing us to take back all of the enemy has stolen as we go through this day Lord we assign angels to our families Lord restore our families from the attacks of the enemy cover our children and our youths Lord many of them Lord are graduating at this time Lord I will give God thanks for them Lord, that I'm also graduating in the spirit, that they may understand more about you, our children, our youths, our boys, our girls, our teenagers, Lord. Restore them from the hands of the enemy. Cover their minds from every sabotage in spirits at this time. Lord, cover the next generation at this time, Lord. The parents, Lord, strengthen them as every day they have to deal with so many situations with their children, but give them the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to deal with this generation, Lord. Today, Lord, we need a word, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for your presence, Lord, because your presence is like heaven. All the requests that are sent over the month of June, represent them before you. The requests that are, that are about to come in, Lord, touch them before they've even been sent right now. Let your angels at this time touch down to every member, to every person that posts, to every person that comments at this time. We send angels to their homes, to their environment, to their community, to their country, to their territory. In the mighty name of Jesus, when the angels at, were released into the water, there were shiftings at this time. Lord, release the angels to fight on our behalf. Those are coming from work, cover them on their blood. Those are about to go to work, strengthen them as they go to work. In the name of Jesus, those are going about their busy schedule, strengthen them at this time, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, those are traveling in different different transportations, Lord. We ban every spirit of accident. We can carry peace into this atmosphere. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for shifting the minds of your people into a kingdom mindset. Remember, those are supposed to be praying in different time watches, Lord. Strengthen them to continue to pray. Cover our elderly at this time and strengthen them at this time. In the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen our fathers, our men, that they may arise and stay, Lord, in position and pray for their children, pray for their generation, strengthen the mothers, that they will continue to pray for their children and pray for their their, their generation at this time and their families. Strengthen them at this time. Those are sick in body. We claim healing for them at this time, Lord. Those who feel down and destitute at this time, touch them. Those who feel confused and depressed, we bind their spirit of depression, Lord. We come against every down spirit at this time, Lord. Let their anointing uplift their spirit at this time. We will look to the hills from and come with our help. Every chains at this time, Lord, is broken in the name of Jesus. Doors that were shut in our face for the month of July, we send angels to unlock those doors. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and the prison door were open unlock every prison door in the season at this time whatever you set up against us for the month of july we are saying angels to shut it down right now we declare and declare that the month of july is a month of release of miracles and healing and breakthroughs. The month of July we will step into our victory. The month of July we will press toward the mark of the price of the higher calling. For the month of July, we will get testimonies at this time, Lord. In the name of Jesus, there will be breakthroughs at this time, Lord. The darkness are exposed at this time. How do you kind of care that light will manifest in the month of July? Lord Jesus, release our leaders at this time, our pastors, our bishop, release them at this time, Lord, to stay in your presence at this time, Lord, because in your presence there is fullness of joy and at thy right hand their pleasures forevermore. Lord Jesus, expose every form of sicknesses that want to wipe out your people at this time, Lord. We we'll ban the spirit of discouragement at this time. We we'll ban fear but by doubt lord jesus so many have been rejected at this time but help us to use rejection as a stepping stone to glory in the name of jesus let us use our negativity as a stepping stone in the mighty name of jesus anoint our hands and our feet this afternoon lord would you kind of care victory into this atmosphere would you kind of care peace into this atmosphere would you kind of care joy into this atmosphere would you kind of care at this time that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I send angels into some hospitals right now, strengthen some nurses, some doctors. Lord Jesus, who don't have the answers, you give them the answers right now. Our leaders, our governors, our politicians who don't have the answer, release answers to them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, some have different court cases and they don't know how to deal with it. Give them answers. Some, Lord, are struggling to study their schoolwork at this time. Release answers to them at this time. We'll ban every talk in their mind, in their thoughts at this time, that you will give them the answers to their questions at this time. Some are having struggles 
struggles with their grades, but they can get good grades. Some have tuition to pay, don't have the first cent, provide for them. Some have rent to pay, provide for them at the same. Some sort of student loan to pay, piling up on them, Lord. And they can get a release for them and miracle for them that they will get their financial release. Some are waiting for a job for so long and has not gotten their job, Lord. Release a perfect job for them. Some have been waiting for promotion, Lord. Provide for them, Lord. Lord, shift into their workplaces, Lord. Shift into some workplaces at this time. I know some managers and supervisors at this time, principals, lecturers, and deans, Lord, sit up on them at this time as they make different decisions for their organization, for their businesses at this time, Lord. Every small business owner, bless them this hour. Big business owner, bless them at this time. In the mighty name of Jesus, some are selling on the streets at this time, provide for them. Some are in the market selling, provide for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for blessing our people today. Lord, let thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Touch down on Facebook at this time, touch down on YouTube, touch them on zoom touch them on instagram at this time lord so you can get the glory out of every situation at this time there are some situations some people can't even talk about lord the secret stuff lord that persons can't even express that that is suppressing them and killing them silently lord expose those situation right now let your anointing sit upon those secret issues at this time that is stressing out people at this time, allowing people to feel depressed and locked down. We we'll ban that spirit in the name of Jesus. We we'll ban psychological barriers. We we'll ban the spirit of depression. We we'll ban the spirit of schizophrenia. We we'll ban the spirit of both bipolar disorder in the mighty name of jesus we ban every attack against the men of your people deliverance for the minds of your people those are in mental ward and they cannot function properly we call for deliverance for their soul at this time lord touch every psychologist at this time and give them the answers that they don't have if a psychiatrist give them the answers at this time every counselor strengthen them in the season at this time there are so many cases they're dealing with but lord touch every case touch every file in the mighty name of jesus every situation be presented before you in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord for shifting upon your people we thank you lord just for touching down into some communities we ban the spirit of violence and the spirit of murder we ban the spirit of rape we ban the spirit of, of sabotage and false accusation the spirit of deception the spirit of robbery the enemy is robbing some of us physically and spiritually we shut down the spirit of robbery right now in the name of jesus the spirit of theft in the name of jesus we thank you lord jesus for covering your people under the blood of jesus touch some gunman at this time lord jesus that they're not killed anyone at this time lord we ban every blood sacrifice demon that was set up against our people and our youth this hour touch down into some ghetto touch down into some community touch down into some towns and some cities at this time confuse the workers of iniquity I thank you, Lord, for blessing of a warrior today that I may continue to stand in the gap, strengthen some warriors who feel weak, who feel down and out, Lord. Lord Jesus, they're going through so many things they can't even talk about, but touch down into their situation. Touch down into some cases that seem dormant. Everything that seemed dead will speak life in the name of Jesus. We speak life into some dead situation right now. Some feel like letting go and backsliding. Lord, we pull up the backsliders at the center, arise and come back to your presence, Lord, because in your presence there's fullness of joy. Some church persons at the center feel like giving up. Some young people feel like throwing in the towels, Lord, strengthen them. They're going through some cases that persons are not hearing them out, Lord. We'll pull up their souls to surrender to you at this time, Lord. Hallelujah. Let our men arise, let our boys arise, let our girls arise, let our youths arise. Strengthen some youth leaders, Lord. Give them vision and dreams to run their youth department at this time, Lord. Some youth department are dead but we speak life to every dead department at this time we speak life into every dead ministry at this time lord lord jesus is like, can these dry bone live yes these dry bones can live lord jesus a minister called by you lord lead and direct them at this time lord release vision and dreams to direct your people this hour i thank you lord for the manifestation of your glory let thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven lord i thank you lord for the miracles thank you for healing Thank you, Lord, for financial breakthrough. Thank you, Lord, for restoration. Thank you, Lord, for peace of mind. Thank you, Lord, for releasing help this summer to your people, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for sending help at this time, Lord. Some persons have no food to eat. Provide for them, Lord. Some persons can't buy a grocery, but provide for them at this time, Lord. Release the angels in some banks. Release the angels in some university campuses. Lord, release the angels at this time, Lord, into some supermarkets. Lord Jesus, send help to those who need help right now. Lord, some on the streets at this time have nowhere to live. Provide for them, Lord. Cover them on their blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, sustain your people at this time, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the victories that are birthed in this hour. In Jesus' name. Praise God. We give God thanks for today. We give God thanks for the victory. We give God thanks for what he's about to do. I'm just here to encourage us for the month of July to step into the waters and submit to the Lord. So our scripture that we were um, reinforcing on was St. John chapter 4. I'll just read from verse 1 
to verse six. And you can just um, agree with me and just comment on what you have learned. So it says, after this, there was um, a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. In these day, a great multitude of impotent folk of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in and was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, he knew, when Jesus saw him lie, he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. And he saith unto him, will thou me made whole? The impotent man answered him, sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, down before me, Jesus saith unto him, rise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walk. And on the same day was the Sabbath. So we're just reinforcing in this season that the water is troubled. I don't know what your case is. I don't know what your situation is, but the Holy Ghost knows what you are going through. And all of us are facing different issues, different circumstances, different um, setbacks in our lives. But the Lord is reminding us today that the water is troubled. And when the water is troubled, there is a shift. When the water is troubled, healing is taking place. When the water is troubled, um, breakthroughs are manifested. When the water is troubled, persons are being healed. When the water is troubled, there's a shift. And in this atmosphere, there's a shift. The angel went down at a certain season into the pool. So we're just here encouraging each other that you are supposed to be able to discern when there is a shift, when there is a move, when there is a release. And when an angel is touching down in a water, it means that there are a certain set of people that is praying. That's why it is important to pray. When you're praying, you can release angels to fight on your behalf. You can release angels to do assignment that you can't do physically, but you can send out angels to do it for you in the realm of the spirit. And this is what happened to this man. This man was complaining that he didn't have anybody to take him down into the water. He didn't have anybody to take him down into this pool because somebody all is a step before him. So is it in this season, are we complaining, you know, that we're not getting a release because of this brother, this sister? So this is not the season to complain. This is the season to have your personal relationship with, the, with God and know when is your release. You have to know and pick up when is your release. And when is your breakthrough? There are so many things we have been praying for for years, for months, for weeks, and it may not have come through, but it has already come through. I remember when Daniel, back in the in the Old Testament, when Daniel did not understand certain dreams and visions he got, and the angel told him from the first day, Daniel, you prayed. The prayer was answered, but there was a warfare in one of the realms, or the, um, in one of the heavens, and you have to fight your way through and get your release. So from the first day you have sent your request, from the first day you have prayed, the prayer has been answered. But maybe there are some setbacks, some distractions, some attacks that has risen up for you not get for you not to get the release. But I'm telling you that this month your release is no. So know when there is a shift, know when there's an open heaven, know when there's a release. And even further down, Jesus saw him and knew that he had been in this situation for years. Can you imagine you're in a situation for 38 years? I've been waiting to get your release, but it doesn't matter how long you have been waiting for. Once you have connected with the word and the word that the Lord told him is. Take up your bed and walk. Jesus asked him when Jesus saw him, he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. And he has said unto him, will thou me made whole? So God was just testing his faith to see if he'll, he will connect with the word to get his release. And the man, he complained, the impotent man answered and said, sir, I have no man and the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step is down before me. God asked him, will thou mean made whole? All you had to do was say yes. So all you have to do in this season is say yes. You don't have to wait on anybody or saying, oh, this person never cared me. This person didn't do this for me. This is the season that you need to connect with the word immediately. Jesus said unto him, rise, take up thy bed and walk. You just need one word. You just need one instruction and one shifting for God to the shift in your life. 
When the water is troubled, you just need a word. When the water is troubled, you just need to step into it and walk into your miracle and your healing. And when the Lord released that word, immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed. It doesn't take long for God to shift when the water is troubled. It doesn't take long for God to shift when the presence of the Lord is taking manifestation. When the presence of the Lord is present, miracles can happen. Shift can happen. Acceleration happen. The presence of the Lord can shift into things they've been praying for for years. One day is like a thousand years unto God. So what could take a thousand years can happen in a moment. So in this season, just listen to what God is saying. Step into the water because the water is troubled. And we're releasing this word for the month of July. Step into the presence of the Lord. Stay into the presence of the Lord. No one is your ship. No one is your season. No when the manifestation of the glory is taking place. Know what is happening in the kingdom of God. So we're encouraging you for the month of July. Just stick with what God is saying. Where if God says A, is A. If God says B, is B. God's words never lie and it cannot lie. And I hope somebody has been encouraged. I pray somebody have a blessed day. I would can a blessing for you for the month of July. Just remember that all that the enemy has stolen is returned a hundredfold and more. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Step into the water. The water is troubled. Your angels are being released right now in this atmosphere. Just release your angel for help to help you. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. The water is troubled now, man. There is revival. Revival is going to break through. Souls are going to come back. Backsiders are going to come back. Persons are just going to say they want to be saved. Don't stop praying for your daughter. Don't stop praying for your son. Don't stop praying for your unsafe family. Don't stop waiting for that miracle. So if there's any prayer request, you can go ahead and send your request. And we're just going to pray for us to be focused in this season for July. July is a crucial month. August is a crucial month. And we just want to stay in the flow and the anointing of God. Miracles will be taking place. Healing will be taking place. Some financial um, blockage that you have, the Lord is going to just release those doors. Those doors that was blocking you for months and years, it is going to be released in the month of July. Just uplift your faith and remain focused. And I'll be praying for you. Um, God bless you, Dave Clark. God bless you, Rosemary. God bless you, Dave Clark. God bless you, Sister Portia. We're just going to pray at this time. Just agree with me as I pray. God bless you, Rosemary. God bless you, Sister Dennis. Just agree with me as I pray. God bless you. We're just going to pray for the release of God in this season. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for those who are listening and those who are about to come on, that this is the season to step into our destiny, to step into the water because the water is troubled. Lord, many of us have been praying for some situation for years, months. And Lord, we don't see it coming through. But Lord, we believe by faith that you are going to work on our behalf at this time. Every attack launched against our mind to shut our faith, we shut it down in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare kind of peace right now over our homes, in our environment, in our community, in our workplaces, in our schools. We thank you, Lord, for the divine shift over our people at this time. Every subatomic spirit that was set up against us in this hour. We shut it down in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the peace that passes all understanding. We thank you, Lord, for those who are listening this hour. We thank you, Lord, for the words that have been released. We thank you, Lord, just for the prayer that has been released. We thank you, Lord, for the fire of God that is sitting upon us at this time. It's a day that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. For this month of July, Lord, we can declare your miracles will birth. Healing will birth. The manifestation of your glory will birth. Our faith will be uplifted, Lord. We'll mount up with wings like an eagle. We thank Lord for strengthening those who feel weak at this time. We thank Lord for shutting down every depressive spirit right now. I thank Lord for strengthening us, O oh Lord, that we may be able to discern the times because the times, Lord Jesus, you are moving into this season. And Lord, help us to know when our season is now. Lord Jesus, you knew us before time began. And Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that the miracles that you're presenting before us, we will step into the miracle. We will step into the healing. Lord Jesus, those who are feeling weak in their faith, strengthen their faith. 
some people need direction. They don't know which way to turn. They're making so many decisions, Lord, and you are not in the decision. Let you be in the decision making at this time. Let you get the glory out of our situation. Those of us who feel down and out, Lord, give us the strength that we need. Help us to mount up with wings like an eagle. Give us a word for this season. Help us to stay up on your words because your words cannot lie and it will never lie. And I thank you, Lord, that we're proving your words at this time, Lord. Release testimonies, victory testimonies. Release healing into the bodies of your people. Release testimonies at this time, Lord Jesus that persons need to hear because whatever we're going through it is for somebody else to hear about the goodness of God you will reign into our life at this time as the team that you give us is reign you will reign into our life you'll reign into our territory you'll reign into our community you'll reign into our homes Lord the anointing will continue to reign in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus, those who are afraid to surrender to give their life to you, loose them from the shackles of sin, loose them from the bondage of sin, because when the rapture come, Lord, it's only you will have to be accountable to. We only have one soul at this time, and what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose our one soul? Lord Jesus, for our backsiders out there, help them to run, come back to you at this time, Lord. Help them to surrender all. We tear down every principle and power that's bound in their mind. Loose them from the stronghold of the enemy. Our children who feel lost, we pull them up, Lord, because they will be children and great children of God and they are the ones who are going to be the next generation they'll be sons of God in the name of Jesus or teenagers who feel down and out we send angels to help to them send help to them right now Lord Jesus send angels to our young adults send angels at this time Lord to our children Lord Jesus whatever spirit was sent to wipe out our children this hour we shut it down in the name of Jesus, strengthen us this hour. Strengthen the mothers. Release angels to our mothers. Release angels to our fathers. Release angels to our bishops. Release angels to our ministers. Release angels to our families. Release angels to our communities at this time. Lord, touch down into some homes. Release angels into some living rooms. Release angels into some bathroom. Release angels at this time, Lord, into some rooms at this time, Lord Jesus. Release angels into the backyard and the front yard of your people. Send angels to our ministers. Release angels to our evangelists. Release angels to our prayer warriors at this time, Lord. Lord. Release the answer that some persons are on their knees right now. Send answers to them right now. Clarification, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Download into your people today at this time, Lord. We burn the spirit of destruction at this time. We thank you, Lord, for renewed vision and dreams, Lord. Some persons are praying for some dreams and visions, clear vision and dream. Some are getting attacks in their dreams. We burn every attack in their minds, Lord. We burn every attack that is clouding their visions at this time. How they can declare clear vision and dreams. Lord, some persons use to write down, Lord, their dreams and their vision and they stop, Lord. Release them to take up that book and write their vision and make it plain in the name of Jesus. Some people give up on their business, Lord. Lord, restore unto them what the caterpillar has eaten. Lord, would they can care that you'll be restored. Lord Jesus, some persons feeling pain in their belly. Oh, come on, healing into their belly right now. Every pain in their belly shift in the name of Jesus. Some people feeling pain in their hands. Oh, come on, every pain to come out of their hands right now. Some people feeling pain in their back. We'll bind every back pain right now in the name of Jesus. Some persons having intense bleeding right now. But I declare the care restoration in their womb that, Lord, the bleeding will stop. I would declare the healing at this time, Lord, just like the woman who had the issue of blood. Lord, she just connected to the faith and to the prayer and her faith was made whole and healing took place. Heal some women this hour, Lord. Heal some men this hour. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for shutting down every backstabbing spirit, every deceptive spirit, every jealous spirit will shut it down. In the name of Jesus, every witch and assignment sent to wipe out your people this hour, we shut them down. In the mighty name of Jesus, some persons are waiting for some financial release. Release miracles in this hour. In the name of Jesus, cover them from the corner of their head to the sole of their feet. Some are waiting for a new vehicle and the vehicle is coming. Release the keys right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, some persons are waiting for some new homes. In the name of Jesus, release the keys right now. Some need some new homes at this time. Release the new addresses, Lord. Give them the confirmation right now. Write out some checks for some person who have been waiting for a long time. Some person have given up on their ministry, their prayer ministry. Help them to take up their mantle. Some gave up on the, the, the preaching ministry you give them, Lord, because they're afraid of what people are saying. Release them into their ministry right now. Help us to remain humble at this time and stay in your presence because why? Your presence, anything can happen. When the water is troubled, Lord, shift can take place, Lord, and the water is troubled. Help us to know when the water is troubled. Help us to discern when the angels are touching down, Lord, and giving us answers. Help us to know when there is a release, Lord, because releases are coming and releases are taking place right now. 
in Jesus' name. We give God thanks for Dave Clark, cover him on their blood. We give God thanks for Rosemary, cover on their blood at this time. We give God thanks for Sister Portia, cover her on their blood at this time. We give God thanks for Aunt Tasha Well Dennis, cover her on their blood at this time. And every person that will be coming on, release angels to them right now. We thank you, Lord, for the victory. We give God thanks for the testimony. We give God thanks for a decoration. No weapon farm against us shall prosper. We give God thanks for extending mercy upon us at this time. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray everyone have a blessed day. Stay in the shift. I'm just reminding someone, somebody that the water is troubled. Just remain focused in Jesus' name.